Good job. What? That, looks, that looks like very comfy Wait. insanity clothes. It does. It's the green. The decaying one. The gas. Yes. It's not good for living it's beings. A, it's effective especially against living things. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it. Darn. <laughs> Hate Sarah Hawkins. Do you feel like that was a laughably easy mis m escape? Oh yes. All yes. things considered, yeah, yeah, yeah. I attacked the doctor and beat his ass. Then she, I uh, walked Colden, down. Colden, Colden zombie knocked you, KTFO'd. Yeah. You, you fell down. You woke up. Walked uh, like two just, rooms over. Then you walked to the objective and took the objective away. I'm too bitch weak. I'd be better off finding a tool. So this is frustrating to me because I saw the tool when I came in, and I don't know if people could tell, but I tried to get it. Uh. Ew. Is that Cthulhu slime? All right, that should do it. Chug, chug. Let's move. What? What did that do? We broke the slime. Oh hey. Oh, it's that guy. I'm your puppet no more, you bastard! What exactly is our plan here? I you never my wife, said. My wife, you owe me obedience. <sighs> Leave her alone. This guy smacks a Rudic. Mm. What? That was your plan? You are going nowhere. I don't think any don't of this was a plan. Me and my wife. Ew, 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 ew. Yeah, the suckers. Oh, gross. You got knocked out again. No, I didn't. The fire poker. Nobody tells me what to do with my wife. So gunshots. Completely ineffective. Fire poker, though. I'm glad he threw me at the fence. And not the fire or sharp things. No. It's Why weird that it says skip it? this. Well, it's because I hit the triggers to, like, attack him. Mm. But it's a cutscene, so you can skip it. Talk to him! You're incapable. You're, You're crazy, no man! You're incapable, man. For her safety was throwing her in this rat hole. I hid her well enough. You let Fuller play with her. Stop. Yeah, dumb shit. I did everything I could to protect her. But her identity, her power, is what threatens her. What? What? Yeah. Sarah has seen things, has made things you can't even begin to imagine. Would yes. you still save her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am? Yeah, probably. Maybe it was not her fault. You're getting choked for a while. At first, Sarah condemned Francis Sanders the moment she offered him the wanderer. Uh huh. Sarah has been in the presence of the myth for too long. Even if she were to leave Dark Water, she would still hear his call. I see. And the cult will always be here, waiting for her. Then we get rid of its members. Okay. You are out. Of are we gonna team up with Squid Boy here? I thought he was the head of a cult. To his power, and the world will I think he is, but he's subverting it. No one can escape the wheel of destiny. It is hard. They say, but I will change it. I will save Sarah. You're can you help me, Sarah? You're kind of just back there. You're doing running nothing. through multiple violent personality shifts. There, thank you, Sarah. 
You were choked for a ridiculous amount of time. Oh yeah. And not by like little baby hands. And had like, and had a cooler. conversation. So again, gunshots, nothing. Violent impalement. Okay, you know what? That one, I'll believe, hurts more than a bullet. Because he got stabbed really, really hard. Okay, fair enough, but he's still alive. Yeah. I no. love you with my tentacle stuff. There's no love like tentacle love. And she's like, yeah, no, that's good. We can work this we out. Can work we this. Can... Yeah. Oh, again. What happened? Where'd that oh, come from? There, yeah. There was a convenient axe. I, I gave him an axe. Yeah, thank you, Matt. That's where it fell. It fell down into the hole inside into of the hill water. and fell into this, this pit here. Mm -hmm. And that's the end of that chapter. I do like how squaring off against what we assumed would be the final violent protagonist the ended shit. in a cutscene and meant nothing. Like... No, the Shambler is the bad guy. After the death of Colden, Pierce, victim of hallucinations, yep. advanced inside the Riverside Institute to the point of discovering Sarah Hawkins, alive, prisoner of Dr. Fuller. The last confrontation between Charles Hawkins and his wife was revealed that the man, under his monstrous appearance, tried to protect her from the influence of the myth. He warned Pierce if Sarah succumbs to the allure of the cult, she will lose all free will, allowing the cult to bring its plan to fruition a, a vague and stupid ancient evil plot to resurrect an evil god. Got it. Henceforth, Pierce must know more about Sarah Hawkins' intentions and find a way to protect them. Now, if you believe that for one second... Which I don't. Sure, but if, you be if, if Pierce believed that the threat of the ancient cult was legitimate for one second, mm -hmm. it would be his duty to the human race to, kill to her ice now. her instantly. Right? Why would you... No, but let's bury that horrible monster. In his own grave. No parent should have to bury their child. Oh, it's their... their oh, no, it's the baby. Knowing it's me that put That little him Cthulhu there. baby. The guilt. The guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'm really feeling I'll do anything it. Anything to get him back. Anything. You see, Sarah's a painter. You see, so they keep splotchy paint textures all over her face. My work was what lured me here in the first place. I don't think it's a very appropriate time it's for water to be hitting the camera things. lens. Yeah, I was just, I, I was just gonna painted. say. Look, yeah, we told, we took it from the kids' room. We stole it. What am I to you? <laughs> Whoa! Good stuff. I took care of you. Saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you this nothing. This is what we'll sparked the argument. It had nothing to do with the call. Well, I didn't get that impression, like, as as the, the, the only thing You're that could have happened. Going anywhere. Because I remember it was like around a table and yeah. there was just fisticuffs and like it could have been anything. Man, that kid don't look too good. Yeah, father, no! No! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, oil lamp is a, is a bad thing to get hit with. And then he goes running off in the mansion for a couple of hours. Yeah. Just sleep it off. Good job, Sarah. So the part that I'm totally baffled by is how the kid ends up getting killed in this situation. Uh, he fell down, uh, um, no, on, they on to a bullet. Yeah, they weren't able that to was escape on the, ground. the room. Yeah, it looks like they just fell over and died. Oh, what? That's the captain? Who's that? That's, uh, that's the, the grounds man. Oh. But he, he saved Sarah, but he let, the, Keeper Willie. he let the kid just die. The kid that had fallen unconscious for no reason. Yeah, he fell down into death. I'll be real, that cutscene's super confusing. Come on. That was the cutscene of a, of a fight that we had already examined, and I felt more confused by the real version of the event. Ooh. Hey, that's a, fish, that's a fish monster. I'm looking at a fish thing. All right. 
It's uh, okay. I like how I don't understand. I, I understand that part. That's the. <laughs> so, just to confirm to everyone, the game promises a certain thing. On the title screen of this game, it's literally an image of, of uh, Pierce here uppercutting Cthulhu. Yes, like, correctly. Yes. Uh, the main thing I'm thinking of right now is how. How much of the game is being affected by... I don't know anymore. Uh, the choices that I made, because I kept saying, like... Your destiny and Your shit. destiny. Okay, well, we can max out spot hidden here. So I'm gonna do that. You should do strength. We can also... a couple of times where it's like, you're too dumb. I don't think it's ever occurred for me to ever use my strength in this game once. So what was it again? It's lockpicking and shit, isn't it? No, it's just forcing shit open. Or threatening people. But if you level up your strength, like your innate muscle power, that doesn't yeah, make you this, more of this a threat. This is lockpicking. Okay. So we're going to validate that. That doesn't make you more a threat in the eyes of other people unless you can demonstrate yeah. the physicality. Okay. Unless you're physically enormous. Yeah, unless he's like fucking uh, the armored titan. Okay, so the, the, the losers are downstairs, right? They, they are huge losers. Look, look at this loser. Where's talk your hat? You look like a jackass. Talk to him, talk to no, him. No, before that, okay. look, they accidentally opened up the rest of the mansion. Why did I say it like that? I don't know. But, uh, now... I'm free... to fucking... Yeah. Is Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? No. She's a crazy liar. Yeah, see, look, I can do all this shit before I even hang out with them. Okay, good, because this is ammo. Ammo in the holy shit. Yeah. Oh, it's Anything in here room. with you, dumb dead baby? Oh, no. you! Oh, ow! I'm on I'm fire! So I'm burning! Oh, it hurts a lot. Yeah, bitch, I nailed it. All right, let's hit the painting room, the one room we were never able to explore once. Watch there be nothing. I bet there's fucking nothing. Okay, that appears to be some shit. That's some shit. That's some shit. That's gross. Yeah, it's okay. I can. I, can, I don't mind it. Okay, I have almost nothing. There's nothing in here. Good. I'm glad. How unless stuff becomes in there. All right. Let's see. Nothing. Paint and stuff. And a Jesus. More nothing. Possibly more nothing. That's I could nothing. Good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there's something. Good. All right. Here we go. Here. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, here we this go. This is the thing. Before I enter the reconstruction. I'm gonna do, you know, to give it a once over. Let's see if she's telling the truth. About what? I don't know. Yeah. I might be doing this out of order. Yeah. Which would be very funny to me, actually. What kind of ritual was she preparing? A big ritual for big evil. Big evils. Was the painting of the shambler displayed here? Occultism. Ow! It attacked me. I looked at that in the vision. Yeah. How does that hurt me? Ooh. Also, I really have to say again, might be the worst directorial idea to use video grain and like macro blocking digital it, effects it, it doesn't, for that. It's it constantly in contrast with the game's other visual stylings. It's wildly inconsistent. It's. How did she survive her encounter with the shower? She just stabbed it. Yeah, she stabbed it. Knowing Mrs. Hawkins, I bet she was willing to fight. You don't know Mrs. Hawkins. Well, you know, he knows that she slammed her husband around a bunch of times. Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. Are you getting attacked by the Shambola? Oh, you nailed it, apparently. Oh! She was summoning the shit, right? And he's like, don't summon that shit. And he comes in, and he's like... What are you what? doing? What? Why? incantation. I don't know, it seemed like a huge success. I see. Alright, now let's use that clue... To guilt trip To them. guilt trip the shit out of her, and be like, bitch... I see you summoning monsters. I why, seen it. Why did your shamble party go so bad? Your shambler party's in shambles. Hey, Algernon. Oh god, I forgot. Yeah, you forgot about this weirdo. Mr. Pierce. We were waiting for you. Good. 
Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? Get out of here. <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? Yeah. This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Oh. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Get out of here, Very bookworm. Well, Sarah. Get out of I here, will be nerd in Charles stalker. Hawkins office. I don't care where you're going. Oh, you know what? Before we do that, yeah, talk forgot to, to do something very important. Slap Bradley. How are you, Bradley? Ah, it's you, Pierce. Yeah. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, Dr. Colden. Oh. Have you had any news? So I don't know if you remember, but he was v like, you have to tell the d people that people are dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must tell them. I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? What happened? I'm not sure what happened. But I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You... You sure that you've got nothing to do with it? What? That's a bizarre she question. She to help you. She might still be alive. I'm That's sorry. her choice. Truly. How could that possibly that be fuller? my fault? Yeah, I it's, swear it's, shoot it's, him. it's yeah, fuller. Shoot him, shoot shoot him in Pierce. the face a bunch. I'll be help you. Sprink, sprinkle some crack on him. Holy shit! Look at that shit! What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me? Okay, are any of these unlocked? So this is the psychology one. That's just normal. This is the crazy one. This is... She wouldn't want big revenge. Yeah, she would. <sighs> this is a tough one. I really want to use the sanity one. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. You good with that? Yeah. Have no fear, Bradley. Dr. Fuller will not escape the clutches of destiny for long. <laughs> Sooner or later, he will be judged for what he has done. You just need to have faith. What are you talking about? That was way <laughs> more religious sounding than I expected. A little bit. No, I'm sorry. I'm not going, I'm not going into that fucking sanity jazz. I'll take care of him. You sell Myself. that to another cop, not we me. We must do something for those He's who are gonna still alive. He's going to get judged Bradley. by a bullet. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through. Otherwise, Marie's death will have been in vain. You're uh, the voice of reason, Pierce. As always. Let's say as always. And he, you're the voice of reason? You took the to crazy alone. Cthulhu answer. I sure did. It should have been the reverse. I should have That's said strange. unintelligible garbage. And then his yeah, yeah, yeah. eyes rolled back. And then he's like, okay, Pierce, will do. Nice. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. Yeah, you sure like I can still hear the uh, slept me. off Cthulhu. It is so strong, so ancient, enticing, dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mister Pierce, but I can't come back to Boston with you. Okay, that is. This is getting more confusing about what is unlocking what here. Yeah, this. How could this possibly be related to anything but the fact that there is actually a cult? I, it's, right? I, I, uh... You and Drake are up to something? It's because of the Wanderer. Charles is dead. You feel guilty, huh? <laughs> Why do you think you're responsible for everything that has happened? Because I am. I am the one who read the Look forbidden book. Look at her book. worried face. I, I see her eyebrows going nuts. I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. End this no, slaughter. You will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. Damn. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes I you've made. I think that's a little I know much. What I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. It's really bad if you take a choice and I don't believe our character's conviction it's, on that It's choice. really bizarre. <laughs> so no. we all die, there must be a way to fight it, or crazy! Flag him here! You but it's not gonna be, be that. Even knowing the stakes. Yes, thank you. Still, I won't let you go. What? You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. 
That's ridiculous. We're talking Listen, about a fucking and it's not a, a way safe me. way to return Help to Boston. They're like, if she goes to Boston, the fucking All right. Cthulhu still knows about her. He's loud. He talks loud. He's a very loud talker. Like it has nothing to do with it. So. It's like Wooly trying to go somewhere, but he's still going to be haunted. Yeah, I like the idea of these Elder Gods are just fifth dimensional beings. So, man, you know, three dimensions plus time, right? Yeah. You ever seen Carl Sagan's dis display of, like, a, a sphere in Flatland? No. Alright, so basically the idea is, imagine you were a sphere and you were a 2D... You went to a 2D universe? I am very round. Alright. Like, as you move through the 2D plane, you'd appear to change shape wildly, and oh, you could yeah. okay. appear in all sorts of locations gotcha, and weird gotcha, shit. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. Right? Cthulhu, and all the other ones, really, just need to follow that basis, where it's like, of course you can hear them everywhere, the, problem, the concept of everywhere is ridiculous. The problem is that, like, for book covers and figures and board games, they can't have a fucking yeah, it's, thing that it's, looks it's, like that. It has to be a big green monster. It's tough to draw a fifth dimensional being. In fact, I would probably say that it's literally impossible to draw a fifth dimensional being. Mm. Uh, you ever seen a of, hypercube? Thing looks like shit. A lot of uh, other monsters in the Cthulhu mythos are described as it's angry pink sludge in a cave. You again. Yeah. And people uh, worship it. It just you. looks like a bunch of I'm hubba bubba. <laughs> Not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness. You is look like a fucking matters. zombie. Man. I hate How this fucking guy. Mrs. I don't <laughs> care for him. Either. I don't know what it is. I don't think I'm fully By hating him Charles yet, Hawkins, but it's like I that mm. imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something, an amulet, a key of Rala. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could. We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Thank you. I hate Feel this guy. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. Great. I've You've probably seen more shit than this guy has ever seen. What is the true nature of the Necronomicon? What? I see that you are interested in my precious book. Might be the most evil it book is ever. It the definitive book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce. Written by Abdul Alhazred. It is the answer to many a question. That is why it's so highly valued. Yes, and even though it is a copy <laughs> given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University, yeah, Miskatonic uh, remains very powerful. Go Dagon! Wait, the copy is also bound in human flesh? That's ridiculous. Who would sign up <laughs> to get their flesh taken off a second time? This fucking... This creature, the Shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension oh, to another. Oh, it's the thing from Stranger Things. Its oh, prey. it's the Dahaka. Francis oh. Sanders was one of its victims. It's... How could a creature like I got that nothing. end up in one of the... The Dahaka or the thing from Stranger Things is Sarah another. has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but... When she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. That sucks. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality. So just wreck the painting. And we make enticing prey. Yeah, just isn't sho that? That's why just we shove must them all find into a, a garbage. Sending it back to where it came from permanently. You can't hurt us then. Ship the, the paintings to Antarctica, and then it's stuck Was there. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the dagger of the ancients, then yes, it was. Why would you sell such an item? Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger. He liked them. But I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, that's that the case. thing could come back. Yes, that is why I am looking for a more permanent solution. It okay. must never come back. A genius like you must have already <laughs> found a oh, way to get rid of this. I am yes. a genius. I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it. But for that, I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, 
I need the key to Rie. That's Another how you say that? Baubles. I guess. That's tough. No they must have done the research. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces, much more effective than your cult. I hate this what guy. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center. A star with an eye in the middle. Got it. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. Well, that's rough considering how hard he got stabbed. Yeah, effects. maybe we just have to I fumble think around the mansion, though. to do though. with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find Oh, fuck it. off. I don't want it to disappear again. What's the draw ring? Sketch of a bust. Is it not directly behind him? Uh, there was certainly one there. Oh, no, it's a it's, similar it's far looking far more bust. melty. All right, time to run around the house and yeah, look at right. every statue. Yeah. I'm glad this caved in behind me. Yeah, it needs less areas to search. Keep your eagle eyes out for busts. Try that occult room where it had those things on the All floor. All the crazy shit. Yeah, yeah, you know what? That's a good place to start. Like a place and to start. it is at the other end of the house, which, which means I can start from there if it's not there. And work your way back. Yeah. It looks like a it's, statue of his own old ass dad face. It's really weird that we're just. Walking around the house, just staring with this like little, right Wait. there, bottom, close, but no. It's very close, actually. He's got a beardo, though. Yeah, so it's a it's a bust. A beardo, Voquimbi. And it has a fucking fake beard on it, so that should stand out pretty effectively. Also, when you get close to it, a it'll little have white a big thing on the yeah, on it, which always helps. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, get the beardo out. No, get the where the fake beard at, you fucking asshole! All right, big ugly butt. There, there, there it is. is. I found it. I just found it just right now. That's it. The amulet's inside it. Oh, it's in his ear. No. Sketch of a still life. The sketch was got me the artifact concealed by this asshole. There's a book and a different and a weird monkey bust. skeleton. And then, I bet it's in this room. I bet it's On not. the floor. I bet it's a smug- <laughs> I like this energy level. Oh, uh, yeah. Get- It's not It's this a really- this is fucking busy work, that's why. It's, like, it's- yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. fucking- who cares? Is the kid got a yeah, skull in his Yeah, he's got a skull. He's got a good skull in here, that's good. Damn it. Oh, man. Okay, come on, let's get- let's get- No. Let's get rowdy no, in no, here. Let's get rowdy. Gonna do some things. Alright, then- oh, no, don't look at that. Alright, anything? Me and Road Dog gonna do some things. Hey, well, give me a- give me the skull. So we've established that I don't Where's even actually at? have to look at the- like, I don't have to touch it. <laughs> you just need I to- I just need to get- zone in within you its need proximity. need to get a whiff of it. Yeah, get a good whiff of the fucking skull and the, the stupid, bust there. The stupid busty bust. Just run around like this. Look at the Sarah's bawling her fucking eyes out, and yeah. I'm running around with a photo. <laughs> you see where your skull, the skull area is? Where's the skull at? Yeah, give me back my crystal skull. Do you have you seen a skull on the floor anywhere? I played the show. You owe me that gold skull. Yeah, that's how it works. Crystal skull? Nah, man, gold skull. <laughs> that's what I'm about. I seem to have difficulty finding this skull. Seems someone says, no, sorry, we're not gonna pay you, but I do have this diamond skull. Alright. I'll be like, okay. Yeah. And that's my story. Wait, that's not how it that. happened. There it is, it's gotta be it. It's gotta be in here. The room that we started in. Oh, check that secret compartment. What the fuck? 